happy American Thanksgiving. This is Enjoying Postcards with Jack and Dylan, and this is our Thanks for Giving 2 special, featuring all the different postcard-related material that we've received since Canadian Thanksgiving. Okay, we're going to start off with an article we got from our friend Bonnie in New York City, and it says, Postcards Only, Please. Yeah, it's an interesting article. It's from the New York Magazine, and it's about their competition. It started in January of 1968 with Stephen Sondheim, but he found the schedule of doing a crossword every week too demanding. So he got this other lady named Mary Ann Madden to create a contest, and apparently it went on for many, many years. It went from 1969 to 2000. At the height of it, they might get over 9,000 entries a week. And at the time, it was all postcards and then later email. And uh, by the end of it, she said that, or the article says, because it's written by your editor, if they got entries and there was nothing particularly good that week, that the uh, lady would actually submit some under a pen name just to make sure the competition always sounded good. So interesting article from our friend Bonnie, and she's the author of uh, Manhattan Manitoulin. Our next set of cards comes from our friend Donna. Hi, guys. I must have more, but this is the best I can find just now. Walter was a faithful postcarder. Yes, yeah, Susanna has said uh, five postcards from her friend Walter. We'll go through them. I, of course, we won't read all of them. If you want to go and see the text of them, you can see the art and stories of 20th century postcard post with all of the different postcards on it. But we'll just start off looking at the images I here. I like the blue. The Costa Rica looks just absolutely beautiful. And I really will do one piece of text. I love what Walter said on the back of this card. We hope you don't object to the obvious privilege this card demonstrates. <laughs> that must be some kind of special view. That must be a special one. And then we have one here. I'm not sure where these six images are from, other than it says, just scratched underneath the name, greetings from the Old Mill and Cafe. I assume maybe someplace in Germany. I don't know. By the names. Yeah, I'm not sure of that one at all. Not sure of that one. Then we got these... I like the art in this one. Yeah, I got this beautiful painting of uh, some red deer. Apparently it's called Red Deers 2 by Franz Mark, 1880 to 1916. And then there's a name of uh, Pina Kothic der Modern. I'm going to guess that that's something to do with the gallery where the original piece of art is. You got me. Yeah, could be, uh, could be anything. Could be anything. We got one here. It's a bit of an interesting picture of a window with some uh, flowers in it. Kind of mundane, but neat in its own way. And then a really neat picture, uh, four pictures of Munich in the winter. Look, they have snow just like we do. Oh, that's beautiful. That's an absolutely beautiful shot. So that's our five from Donna. And then we have three cards from our friend Sue. We have one here from Gorbet Dentistry that shows that the advertising postcard is still alive, being used in 2016. We have a beautiful one here of some shark's teeth. Look at all the different kinds of yeah, shark's teeth. Yeah, you used to have shark's teeth. Yeah, I used to sell those at my table at the farmer's market. I wish I had the chart back then. I would have been able to tell people what species I That's had. That's quite a bite that guy's got. Yeah, holy cow, modern bull shark jaw. And then we have a picture here of a cruise ship. And we're going to read this one because it's a neat little story. This says, St. George's Harbor, Bermuda. Hi, Sue and Nicole. We are enjoying Bermuda. We're sailing on our friend's 35-foot sailboat yesterday going to St. George's today, spent the first full day on the beaches, going to see caves, aquarium, and dolphin quest in the next couple of days. Take care, ladies, Robbie. And piloting the Bermuda's stamp. And I don't know what year that is, but... I have no idea. Yeah. Beautiful, uh, beautiful I like the stamp. There. I re yeah, yeah, it's a really nice stamp. Yeah, really nice stamp. And then I, sub I guess our last card here is a picture of Calgary, Alberta at night. And this is our friends Ted and Joe again. This one came through the Espanola post office because apparently there was no place in the Calgary airport to mail it from. But it says, greetings from out west, Ted and Joe. The postcard factory. And the postcard factory. I think that they're the same ones that published your original series of four postcards back in the 80s. Yeah. We covered those way, way back when at the start of the Art and Stories of the yeah, 20th Century Postcard. Still in business. They're still in business. You can still buy a postcard franchise, apparently. Happy American Thanksgiving. I guess we should also say that coming up in December, we have a whole bunch of postcards. We've got an entire week of postcards from Manitoulin. And we have a whole bunch of joke postcards, and those come to us also from Sue, but the majority of them from our friend Virginia. So we have a whole bunch of other uh, user-submitted cards coming up in December, so we we'll hope you will join us for that.